Everyone thinks AI can code for you in seconds, but the truth is way messier. So I'm going to build a full app with AI and show you everything. The moments where it feels like magic and the moments where it completely falls apart. And this is what coding with AI really looks like. All right, so I'm going to build a full note-taking app, kind of like Google Docs from start to finish in this video. I'm majoring in computer science, so I have built projects before, but this one has a few concepts which I never studied in school. So I want to see if AI can actually help me build something which I don't completely know myself. All right, so let's start fresh. I'll make a folder and we'll ask ChatGPT what we need to install to start working on this app. Time for our first prompt. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff. I don't think ChatGPT is in a happy mood. So I'll just install it one by one and see how far we get. Okay, so this page might look basic, but as a computer science student, let me tell you, it's the first sign of progress. It took me like 20 minutes to install everything. And honestly, there were like four to five errors, which I used ChatGPT itself to take care of. But yeah, things went well until now. AI is great. One thing, I even praised ChatGPT for his work, let me show you. And he seems kind of happy. I need a brother like him. So I'll just keep working on this app, asking ChatGPT for the next steps until I'm halfway through it or I have something to show you guys, something working. Till then, you can enjoy the cinematic shots. All right, so it's day two coding an app with AI. And yesterday I spent four hours working on this app, trying to fix errors. And trust me, there were crazy amount of errors, but finally we have something working. Okay, so this is how the app looks as of now. There is an option to add a note. And if we type anything, go back, it shows us the last date and time the note was created or edited. It's time to make the app look beautiful and we will do it together. So I'll follow all the steps ChatGPT gives us line by line. So let's start copy pasting these commands one by one. Here we go. If you ever feel that coding is just copy pasting when you are using AI, trust me, it's not. There are a hell of errors we get to treat ourselves or we use AI itself to treat those errors. For example, I got six errors here and now I do need to find a solution for them. But there is a fun way to do it if you don't know how to code yourself. We can just take a screenshot and go to ChatGPT. Page the screenshot and then ask, bro, 
as giving errors. Can you give me a solution? I know all my spellings are wrong. Here we go. But ChatGPT is smart enough to understand everything. So here is our response and we have to do these steps. Now, as for ChatGPT, if we use the out two commands, there should be a file named as tailwind config JS in our project, but there is nothing like that. So the solution doesn't work and the solution itself needs a solution. So now what? I think it's hard for ChatGPT to treat these errors. So we got to do it ourselves. I think ChatGPT feels shy when people are watching him. <laughs> After an hour and a half, finally, we have a working project. And let me show you how it looks. There were a hell of errors. I talked to AI like for 30 to 40 minutes straight on fixing them. If we open the server, here is the final look of our app. I know it looks basic, but the main uh, reason behind its creation was its syncing functionality. So if I write a note here now, subscribe, go back, do subscribe. Then if we open the same server on a different tab, refresh, we see this note here too. So two people can work on the same file at the same time. That's how like it happens in uh, Google Docs. But yes, that's our final project for this video. I wanted the UI to look minimal and clean and my main focus was to make it truly functional, which we did. So it's time for conclusion. And trust me, this is the most important part of this video. The question is, should you use AI to code? And the answer is 100% yes. But don't just rely on AI. Go learn how to code. Learn what is React, what is a wheat, what is React Router DOM. Um, start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript basics. And from there, start building projects. Uh, to learn these things, maybe just go on YouTube, uh, watch uh, courses on web development, like there are a lot. So just watch those courses, learn what, uh, learn things in a way that if you see 10 lines of code, you can just tell what they are doing or what's the meaning of those 10 lines of code. You don't need to memorize all the stuff like uh, you needed 10 years ago. Time has changed. Yeah, I can write code but you should be able to tell what you actually need. From the beginning of this video, I knew what I was creating. It was now like AI telling me that we will create this. That's the main thing. And after learning how to code, pick something, pick an idea which you genuinely think is the best. And you believe uh, in that idea, like you tell your friend then your friend wants to tell his friends that you're creating something like that. Choose an idea like that. Build a startup. Maybe creating something like that will take you six months with AI. But you're going to be a millionaire in six months. Am I going to make something like that? 100% yes on this channel itself. I will work on ideas which I think are million dollar ideas. I don't know if I'll be successful or not, but... I'll just create those ideas because I know they're genuinely best and I'll document the whole process on this channel itself. So if you want to see that, just subscribe. Computer science was never knowing everything. It never was. Computer science is knowing how to solve issues, how to solve problems, how to get things done, how to search stuff. So yeah, this is what coding with AI really looks like.